These are NFL players who lost everything. And first, one player was so fast that it sent him to prison. But what if I told you the same speed earned him millions? See, in 2020, Ruggs was one of the fastest prospects ever. And the Raiders wanted him so badly that they drafted him over CeeDee Lamb, Jerry Judy, and Justin Jefferson. But it didn't stop on draft night. In his first 20 NFL games, Ruggs racked up over 900 yards. Yet, in a moment of weakness, one poor decision was about to end his career. It was November 2nd of 2022. The NFL season was young, and Ruggs decided to take his Corvette for a stroll. Yet once he started driving, there was no turning back. 60 miles per hour. 100. The next thing he knew, he was driving over 150 miles per hour. Then a second later, there was a loud thud. He was now at a complete stop. In front of him was the unthinkable. A Toyota RAV4 bursting into flames. Henry Ruggs just killed a 23-year-old woman and her dog. And once the cops arrived, they discovered Ruggs' blood alcohol level was twice the legal limit, meaning that as of today, Ruggs is serving up to 10 years in prison after pleading guilty to DOI resulting in death. But another player once lost his career for something that he had zero control of. In 2015, the Rams made one of the ballsiest moves. They spent a first-round pick on a running back who tore his ACL a year prior. But Todd Gurley wasn't like the other running backs. By 2017, he was already the best running back in the entire league. He recorded over 2,000 scrimmage yards, scored 19 touchdowns, and was even named Offensive Player of the Year. That same season, the Rams made their first playoff appearance since 2004. Gurley was just getting started. A year later, Todd Gurley would make history once again, this time carrying the Rams to the Super Bowl. He was just one win away from etching his name into NFL history. Instead, something happened that no one saw coming. Todd Gurley, the same running back who had dominated all season long, turned invisible. In the biggest game of his career, he had 10 carries for 35 yards. Little did fans fans know, the Rams were about to drop a bombshell. Todd Gurley had arthritis in his left knee. But what's even crazier is that the Rams knew this all along. They were aware when they drafted him. They were aware when he played in the Super Bowl. But now, the pain was too much to ignore. After two straight seasons as the league's best running back, Todd Gurley had fallen into mediocrity. And less than two years later, Gurley would play his final football game with the Atlanta Falcons. It's crazy to think that one man's genetics would help him become an all-pro running back just to take it all away. Speaking of which, Jamarcus Russell has some of the best genetics I've ever seen. Standing at a towering six foot six with an absolute cannon for an arm, Russell was one of the best quarterback prospects in years. This dude once threw a football 70 yards in high school on his knees. And in 2007, the Raiders selected him first overall to be the future of their franchise. But instead, Russell had other plans. This man wasn't playing a single snap until he got paid. Since the NFL had no rookie contract restrictions yet, Russell made the Raiders an ultimatum. He wouldn't play unless they offered him a six-year worth $68 million. In other words, Bro had way too much confidence. But by week two, the Raiders couldn't afford to see their top pick hold out any longer. They caved in. Little did they know, they handed their quarterback over $30 million guaranteed to lay on the couch and eat fast food. Because if there was one thing my man hated, it was watching film. And the Raiders could couldn't afford to let his talent go to waste, so they made Russell a deal. In exchange for watching the film, the Raiders bribed Russell with 10 Junior Bacon cheeseburgers. I mean, come on, who could say no to cheeseburgers? But it turns out, it was all one fat lie. Russell wasn't watching film, he was too busy stuffing his face. That's when the Raiders devised a plan confirming their worst fears. One week, they sent Russell home with a tape that contained their weekly game plan, and you already know Bro didn't watch it. Yet when he returned the following day, he lied as if he watched the whole thing. Only this time, the tape was blank, with nothing on it. In a single moment, the Raiders lost their franchise quarterback, and Russell lost his free cheeseburger privileges. That said, even old-time greats make life-altering mistakes. After all, Tom Brady will tell you that to be great, you have to go all in. It's the same advice that helped Brady play over two decades, and win seven Super Bowls. However, in 2021, Brady knew his career was winding to an end. It was time for his next big move, and nothing intrigued Brady more than cryptocurrency. For reference, it became so popular that players like OBJ took their entire salary in cryptocurrency. So when FTX offered Brady an opportunity to partner with them, he went all in. This included equity stakes, endorsements, and commercials like this. Hang on, there's a possibility of a trade. Tom Brady wants a trade. Could he be coming home? Oh! Oh! One last oh my God, Brady. Go 
Round two, go. I'm hearing Denver. I give you the new city hall. Take that, Tampa. A trade? Are you, are you sure? Not a trade trade. I'm trading crypto. FTX is the safest and easiest way to buy and sell crypto. It's the best way to get in the game. Dang, bro really thought cryptocurrency was the next Apple. Instead, this investment made my man look stupid. Because one second, cryptocurrency was thriving and bro was all hype. And the next, FTC declared bankruptcy in 2022. So once Brady finally hung up the cleats, he knew he had it coming. Tom also lost $30 million in crypto. Tom, how did you fall for that? I mean, even Gronk was like, me know that not real money. Like... Man, even the goat be catching strays. But at least my man remained loyal. Because this cat Le'Veon Bell thought he was a pick-me girl. Only it turns out his selfish nature would cost him the love of his life, the Pittsburgh Steelers. In 2017, Le'Veon Bell was the best running back in the world. And in 2018, bro was non-existent. Instead, Bell took his talents to Florida for a year-long vacation. He was willing to gamble his entire future. But why? Well, in 2018, the Steelers placed a franchise tag on Bell, meaning that he was set to make four 14.5 million, but Bell didn't want to risk getting injured without stability, so instead he refused to play unless given a long-term contract. That's when the Steelers offered him 15 million annually and nearly 30 million guaranteed. This man was set for life, but Bro somehow wanted more. So what my man do? He sat out the whole season. But when he returned, the Steelers had their new franchise running back, James Conner. He was back to square one, looking for a new home. Fortunately, one team was willing to take a chance. In March 2019, Le'Veon Bell agreed to a four-year deal with the New York Jets, worth over $50 million. Bell was a happy man at last. Or so he thought. Turns out the Jets' offensive line wasn't anywhere near as good as the Steelers. Bell went from almost 2,000 scrimmage yards in 2017 to half that with the Jets. It was so bad that the Jets decided they had enough after a single season. Nowadays, you can find Le'Veon Bell in the boxing ring. Guess bro's gotta release that anger somehow. But all that said, Bell wasn't the only career that the Jets managed to ruin. In 2012, Tim Tebow was coming off one of the most miraculous seasons ever. But in the blink of an eye, he was about to watch his future vanish. Which is crazy considering how it all began. It was week 7 of the 2011 NFL season, and the Broncos got off to a dismal 1-4 start. That's when the team turned to second-year quarterback Tim Tebow. In his very first start, Tebow helped the Broncos win an overtime thriller against the Dolphins. Tebow mania had officially begun. Then after an 8-week loss to the Lions, Tebow won his next 6 starts five of which were within a single score. Week after week, he had the entire world cheering on his heroics. Plus, after starting the season 1-4, Tebow helped the Broncos win their division and clinch a playoff spot. The only problem was, they were up against Ben Roethlisberger and the Steelers. Yet somehow, someway, the Broncos managed to keep the game close. And once the game entered overtime, you had a feeling Tebow mania was going to come through one way or another. Well, they won them all. Got him. Got him at the 40. It's Thomas at the 50, Stipper and Gunn, 3 to the 30, to the 20, Thomas to the 10, Denver's going on the New England. Oh! They win it on the first play of overtime. At this moment, Bro was on top of the world. However, Peyton Manning had plans that were about to rock his world. That offseason, Manning had left the Indianapolis Colts, where he had won four MVPs and a Super Bowl to join the Denver Broncos. All of Tebow's hard work just to watch a Hall of Fame quarterback steal his job. However, Tebow wasn't finished yet. That same offseason, Tebow joined the New York Jets in hopes of keeping Tebow Mania alive. Instead, he threw eight passes the entire season. And just like that, Tebow never made a 50 three-man roster again. But right as everyone counted Tebow out, something crazy happened. In 2021, Tebow's former college coach, Urban Meyer, reached out. Nine years after his last NFL snap, he was trying out a tight end with the Jaguars. The only problem? This man had almost no experience at the position. And it didn't help that he couldn't block for his life. Uh, with the inside hand off, Ibuguale comes back and makes a man miss. However, another player's NFL career was over before it even began. In 2012, Manti Teo wasn't just a fan favorite. He had the entire country behind him. In a short period, he had lost his grandma and then his girlfriend. See, Teo became extremely close with his girlfriend, Lene Kakua. The two met over the internet, and Teo was catching all the feels. However, there was just one problem. The two never got to meet up in person. Teo had a busy college football season, while his girlfriend, unbeknownst to him, was suffering from leukemia. 
Then one day, out of the blue, Teo got a call informing him that his girlfriend had passed away. And trust me, bro was devastated. Only this horrific news pushed him to new heights, as Teo pledged to play the rest of his football season for his deceased girlfriend. And his play was so spectacular that he became a Heisman Trophy finalist and led Notre Dame to the college football championship. Yet in January 2013, Teo got news that would forever change his life and his football career. His girlfriend, whom he was falling madly in love with, was not a real person. Instead, the account was run by a guy named Ronaya Tuyasasopo, whose feminine voice had fooled Manti Teo all along. And once Teo found out, it would change his entire outlook on life. The same year, he would be drafted by the Saints in the second round. But after realizing his entire life was a scam, he was never the same. However, there's still one more moment left that might be even more bizarre. See, Plexico Burris has achieved a lot. Over four years, he managed to make two Pro Bowls and won a Super Bowl. That said, none of it is as unlikely as what happened off the field. In 2008, Burris visited the Latin Quarter nightclub with a friend in Manhattan, and to his dismay, the place was packed wall to wall. Burris and his friends stood at the bar for five minutes, but then a security guard approached them. Turns out there was a second floor, which was a lot less hectic. So naturally, they took the security guard up on his offer. Ironically, Burris would live to regret this decision for the rest of his life. As they made their way to the second floor, the stairway was narrow and dark, and everything was black. Burris had a drink in his left hand and made sure to follow the security guard closely, yet with a loud bass from the music thumping the stairs underneath his feet. Burris made one small misstep and earned himself 20 months in prison. See, this dude made the costly mistake of having a gun in his pocket, and once his foot slipped, that same gun came unhooked and slid down his right pant leg. As Burris went to grab the gun, his finger accidentally hit the trigger. Yeah, bro really shot his leg in public. And just like that, Burris went from the prime of his career to spending two years in prison. Sometimes you just can't make this stuff up. But if you want to be even more blown away, check out the video on screen.